that's the advantage of the satellite tracking system is that these devices tell us exactly what's going on. You can see it's a fantastic pattern they've built up between all five of them. But also they can tell us when the animal's coming in, so when uh, Flavio and the, the people recovering the devices can go out to recover them, when's an appropriate time, which beach they're to go to. Um, and of course, for the most part, they're all going back to the same area, but this one decided to go to a beach further south. And if you don't have that information, then there's a lot of beaches in Patagonia and an awful lot of space. And the chances of you actually picking it up are fairly remote. The interesting things in the patterns, are, there are a number of interesting things. One is, where are they spending time? So you get like n nodes here and here and here, and you can ask yourself, well, what's going on in those nodes? Are there particularly high prey densities and so on? But also when they decide to leave them, is there a queue at time of the year, or is it when prey density's just got low for some reason? And then the form of the pattern that they, they make, why is it that you know, this one's sort of done a heart shape and then this one's gone in this shape? Some of the positions, like here, may be positions in error, and because the precision of the satellite tracking system is not always good. They give you a, an error estimate with the position. But nonetheless, it's, it's fascinating to me to see that all these animals are actually using they're using areas off the shelf, so in the deeper water, and um, they're using different restaurants. It's not like they're all going to the same area. And in, with respect to sort of animal migrations or animal, substantial animal movements, you get animals that all go to one area and they feed in that area, and other systems where they all go and do their own thing, and elephant seals are clearly doing their own thing.